Hey guys, so we're back here with the GTI. Today we're gonna install the timing kit that I got off of Amazon. Just a little quick update with the exhaust. So far so good, no exhaust leaks, but I don't know if you guys can see it, it's obviously crooked. The reason for it being so crooked is that the muffler is too wide to the point that it was rubbing onto the rear spring on the left side. And I don't know if you can see it, but it just barely touches the spring now. Um, I did have to dent it in a little bit just to get it so it clears the spring and it did work to some point but there's parts of the muffler that I couldn't dent which was the edges right over here. So yeah right now the edges are making contact with the spring and it's you know making it go crooked. So I will probably have to re-weld the exhaust so that it sits more to the right away from the spring. Hopefully that fixes the this crookedness problem. Other than that the exhaust sounds really good. It has a nice deep sound to it, especially with a catless downpipe. Makes it a bit more louder. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install the timing kit. stuff is out as you can see this is the water pump this is the plastic impeller and you can see where it cracked off and this is the new one that we're talking about Everything is finally done, got it all together. I'm a little hesitant on the timing though because I had trouble finding the top dead center on the flywheel. 
I was looking over the on the tranny side where there's the hole where you can see it but it didn't have any distinct marks so I had to use the screwdriver in the cylinder and rotate it by hand to find the top dead center other than that it rotates no problem I don't feel any resistance or feeling any valves or anything like that so let's give it a go Engine sounds normal, no odd noises coming from the engine. It's running like it should, just like before. No check engine light. I'm gonna let it run for a while just to get it warmed up so we can do a compression test. Before I start the compression test, I need to remove two fuses before I forget. We are looking for number 28, which is the fuel pump, and number 32, which is the injectors. Overall, the results came out better than I expected. All the cylinders were within a short range from each other and in the 165 to 180 range. And that's pretty impressive especially considering it's a 187k motor and it's still going strong. But looking at these results, I can pretty much say that there will be future upgrades, getting some internals done and possibly prep it for a larger turbo and also more bolt-ons but for now I want to focus on getting the engine bay cleaned up so I have more room to work with power steering reservoir I'm going to relocate that underneath the fender area away from view there's a lot of space on the fender side I can move it over there the windshield washer system I'm going to completely remove this just because it doesn't work anyway all of the emission systems I'm going to get rid of as you can see it's cracked over here and no longer functional. The, the SAI is missing a chunk of the hose. I did have it taped up before but I guess it came off when I was driving and it's pretty much long gone. The diverter valve, I don't know who in the hell fabricated this. It just does this awkward U-turn from the turbo inlet to the intercooler piping. I mean what the hell, it's a terrible placement from the previous one. Man. It's even getting smashed from the pipe on top of here. So yeah, we're gonna relocate it to a much more cooler side and connect it to the throttle inlet hose. Keep the diverter valve in this area. The oil catch can, another mangled mess as you can see. I'm gonna replace the hoses and actually have it bolted down somewhere. The battery I'm going to relocate it to the trunk which will give me even more space and more options to put stuff mainly the oil catch can and oh yeah I almost forgot about that the death star in the corner I will be removing that and replacing it with a smaller and more appealing reservoir all in all my goal is to get this engine bay clean as fuck especially with all the parts I'll be replacing like the motor mounts new hoses. I'm gonna need the space to get around. It's kind of hard to do it with everything and removing it. 
I even had a hard time putting on the tiny kit without removing the power steering and stuff like that. Just try to work around it. So. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be done. This whole engine bay cleanup, I'm going to start it next week and probably upload it into two parts just because some of the parts won't come in all at the same time. And it's a lot of stuff to be done. I don't think I can do it all in one day. So, other than that, see you guys later.